Welcome back, fans of StarCraft from around the world. You're joining us here for SPL, and things are all tied up between CJ Entis and KT Rolster. Yeah, uh, first, we could say that the both games have been surprises so far. As we, <laughs> I love Hero's face <laughs> farm here. It's not his face, it's like a claw on his uh, like face. And then, and then Ty is like, oh. Yeah, Ty looks really depressed. I like Leenox's victory pose too. I, I, I can't even tell if that's a victory pose. It looks like he's holding two popsicles. That's <laughs> that's what comes into my mind. Absolutely nothing else for sure. Guys, we're gonna jump into Zest versus Hush. That should be a really fun PVP on Dust Towers. I, as I mentioned before, before we went to our commercial break. Hush vs. Zest did play against each other on this very same map last round, and that was a really crazy game with a lot of disruptive play. I hope we get to see the same thing happen here today at the SPL, but obviously Zest is the best, I think he's the best player in the world at the moment. Yeah, it's between him and Dark. Uh, after seeing his games on Saturday, I was very inspired. This guy is just so clean, and just the way that he, he held it all in, but also he played like the perfect straight up macro game against Sue, another really great um, yeah, Zerg player, and, uh, and, and he's, he's, he just looks so clean nowadays. And as good as Zest is, I'm actually surprised he's only got MVP once so far, so... Yeah. Uh, he is like one of the most winningest players so far in Pro League, and we see the records here, 2-1 in favor of uh, Zest in PvP, and Hush, his only loss has been that game against Zest. So. I know you like the Pentagons. Yeah, the Pentagons are, are very sad. Yeah. And I, I still don't understand why the Zero has to have a bit of color. I don't know, just to show the color, you know. And uh, it looks it, like... It's almost like he's got like 0 .01 of a win against Zest or something. As uh, no surprises here with the predictions. Everyone voting for Zest. I think Zest is the heavy favorite, but as we saw in previous game, anything can happen. Yep, anything can happen. Hush meditating before the game. Let's see if that helps him here. Game number three on Dust Tower. in the top right, in the red. Brodos player, it is Hush. And spawning here at the bottom side of Dust House, we have our blue Protoss. It is Zest. Determined as always. Determined, always looking handsome. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've actually Ooh. seen a day where he hasn't looked, un hasn't looked handsome at all. Uh, uh, no days where he, he's looked unhandsome, yeah. is <laughs> what you're trying to say. Uh, Quick probe coming across the map. Hello. They can't hear us. They don't have headsets. Hello. Hello. Maybe if I say it loud enough. So I think this probe is going to be for a gas. Yeah. Deal. Oh no, he's trying to counteract that probe there. But I'm, yeah, it will definitely be for a gas deal. But will Hush wall this off? Yes, he does. So no gas deal here from Zest. Really and he's actually got done. a wall off with another pile on there. That's actually quite an interesting move there from Zest. Generally, you want to wall it off with either the Cyber Next Core or another Gateway, but it's like he wants to get that quick pile on out. Yeah, I just want to make sure 100% that the gas cannot be stolen. Takes both gases as well, both players do. And uh, we will be having a straight up game here. Looks like this person's coming to uh, the Saturday. I saw Saturday, that's about it. No, said, no. like, fight just like he did on oh, the Saturday. Saturday. yeah. Oh, yeah. cheers, that was last Saturday as well. Exactly. What am I talking about? Yeah. As he's up, got there eventually, GTR. Yeah. It's okay. I'm learning. <laughs> as he's up, Probe's actually doing a bit of damage to that pylon. Can you check how much health is on that <laughs> pylon? It actually might die to this probe. Uh, it's, it's. I don't think it'll die. Yeah, the probe's gonna come back. Oh, probe's hiding here. Let's see who's the victor. Who, who's your money on? Hush. Hush. Yeah, okay, my money's on Hush now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair, GTR. You saw how it was gonna happen. As uh, looks like Hush is gonna get that Nexus up. He's actually not gonna get any units before getting that Nexus. Uh, bit of a greedy build here, but uh, interesting. We see a very, very fast mothership core from Zest. And uh, we get the mothership core out from Hush as well. So Hush is actually slightly ahead with this build. Gonna get that one zealot to uh, probably scout, and uh, 
I'm curious to see what Zest's tech pattern is after this mothership call. Well, <laughs> there you I'm go. Both, both Stargates. But the thing is, uh, even though they are both going Stargates, Hush has that luxury of that second gateway, so... Uh, maybe Hush could do a bit more damage with these gateway units once they come out. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, it's really going to be about what these players do scout. It looks like Zest is going to get to the base of Hush before Hush gets to the base of Zest with the Mothership's uh, core scouts here. Both players are going to have a Stalker, but I think the Mothership core of Zest will get there first, and he's going to get a full scout of the base. Yeah, so we'll just see how much damage this Mothership core can do along with his scouting uh, of Hush's base as... Notice that Hush did rally his Stalkers not towards the ramp, but to defend this Mothership Core. And the Mothership Core does take out one probe. Let's see. Oh, yeah, another probe there. See if he can take out the third probe before the Stalker has to chase it away. Looks like he should be able to. One more hit, and he's still going for more probes. He knows he's got time. There it is. Four probes and damage, and the scout on the Stargate. And the first probe, oh, not the first probe, the Stalker is out for Zest. And oh, he has to use that recall there, unfortunately, for him. Yeah, also, it looked like Hush was making an Oracle first, but the second he got into the base and saw the Stargate, he canceled that and made a Phoenix. So he's going to be behind one Phoenix uh, for the rest of the game here, as long as they continue to make Phoenixes. And uh, we should be having a bit of those Phoenix Wars here in this game. And also notice here, with the work count, Zest is four workers ahead. And in a, in a mirror matchup like Protoss versus Protoss, Work accounts uh, in this early stage is very important to consider. Yeah. Fleet Beacon. Fleet Beacon on the way. Are we going to see some carriers? I hope so, man. SOS did it in PvP, but I think this will be first for the uh, the Anion yep. Pulse yep. Crystals. Yep. For the Phoenix attack range. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 the, the names confuse me, okay. I just call it by what tech they are. As, uh, actually, we see, yeah, so the Stargate, second Stargate is out of the Zest. Yeah, it's kind of different builds for these two players. Blink and just one Stargate is going to be the choice for Hush, whereas double Stargate with the Phoenix upgrade is going to be the choice for Zest. So Hush trying to get more of a ground army, whereas Zest is heavily uh, committing to the air army here. And it looks like Zest is posturing to maybe take his third in the next couple of minutes or so. As we see, we do indeed see that Anion Pulse Crystal upgrade for those Phoenixes. And uh, actually, Forge being put down here from Zest, and he doesn't really have much of a ground army to work with. He's only got that one gateway with the Warp Gate tech, and I think the Blink Stalkers might be able to do a bit of damage if he managed to avoid those Phoenixes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how what kind of angle he can get. He's also got to get uh, more gateways online. Looks like both players first want to go for their third base is here. Honestly, you know, you were talking about the forts coming down here. He's only got one stalker, but I think it might just be for cannons. Yeah, you know, DTs are defense. so popular in this matchup right now, and they're just so strong for counterattacking uh, with the warp prism, of course, or even just walking them up. And you, and you can only have so many pylon overcharges to defend your bases, so having those cannons dumping that excess minerals that he has right now, because he is just spending all of his gas onto these uh, phoenixes, so. Always good to have those cannons around. It looks like Zest is posturing to do some damage to these probes. No, Overcharge is going to come down here, and I, you know, honestly, I think Zest may have been able to fight over that pylon, but he's just going to play it safe. I think he's just forcing pylon overcharges here. Yeah, he doesn't know where the stalkers are either, and I'm not sure that he knows 100% like what the composition of Hush well, is yet. Well, if he blinks on top of this, actually, no, he doesn't. Oh yeah, there's a blink. Takes out one phoenix. Yeah, that's a nice patch, actually. Uh, Zest still going with double Phoenix production. It's ten Phoenixes to four, but seven Stalkers to one in favor of Hush. I'm not really. Do you know if Hush is actually aware that there is like no ground army here from Zest? You know, honestly, I, I don't know. He's he's got a probe in the third mineral line, which is interesting. Okay, so he's going to see that. Generally, in this matchup, if you don't see any units there, then obviously. <laughs> You wow. know that there's no army, but there's so many Phoenixes here just picking away at these Stalkers. Yeah, I don't know about this. This is really hard to pull off. He's going to lose some of his Phoenixes, but he's killing a lot of these Stalkers, so I guess after all, definitely going to be worth it. Oh, he's going to move in here and take out the rest of these Stalkers. Oh, no, I have to cancel it. Look at this. Mothership Core. Gets the Mothership Core. One more hit will do it. Oh, man, he doesn't get it, but he kills all the Phoenixes. And look at this. More and more Phoenixes coming across. This may just be it. He's killing everything. As we see here, more Phoenixes just flying across the map. 
No defense. There's like nothing. All the stalkers were killed. How she's struggling to get in any stalkers out. There's a third Stargate on the map for Zess. He's making three Phoenixes at a time, and he just keeps on picking up stalkers. This is unbelievable. I, I can't wait till Zess just builds just one carrier to just uh, poke fun at Hush. He has all these Phoenixes, <laughs> kill all the units, and then there's just that one carrier to kill all the buildings. The one of Hush. slow carrier yeah. comes across the map. And there's nothing here at the third base, but I think he's ran out of energy on these uh, Phoenixes, so. Oh no, he's still got energy. So he's gonna lift all these stalkers up. There's a lot of stalkers, but there's even more phoenixes. 13 phoenixes to six stalkers, and he picks them up one by one. And he's kill and, after kill. And uh, the only ground unit that Zest has besides Probe is one stalker. <laughs> one stalker. <laughs> he's making six gateways now okay, to, so, uh, to end the game. Yep. But like, that's so funny that he's made it this far with one stalker. And the only units, <laughs> the only units that Zest has lost are just phoenixes. It's really crazy how well. Uh, Zess has done this build order. Yeah, um, I think it was uh, also an interesting idea from Hush to just say, okay, I'm not going to play the Phoenix War. I'm just going to go playing Stalkers. But Zess like, had a timing where he's like, if I have enough Phoenixes, I can actually fight the Stalkers before there's a big mass of them. Really smart move here to get the Archons out. They're going to do a lot of splash damage considering the way that the game engine of StarCraft 2 works. Those Phoenixes will clump up. Splash damage do a lot of, of damage to those Phoenixes, but it might be just too little too late with this Archon. Yeah, he just keeps flying around, and when you have this many Phoenixes, you essentially never run out of energy. So you can just like go from base to base, and uh, you know just continue picking up. Like you can go from the back door base to the third base. How are you going to defend this? I guess you got to keep like one Archon. Okay, he's just going to attack. No, he's no, going well, back. Uh, even if he attacks, you see cannons being built there. Zest is whopping his own stalkers out. Uh, honestly, I find it really hard to see Hush getting back into this game unless. Zest literally just moves his army across to those Archons, but I don't think Zest will be doing that anytime soon. Zest just saw that Storm was being chrono boosted out, which is uh, quite interesting. I, I suppose he thinks that Zealots are going to be on the map, uh, especially because when you're making three Phoenixes at a time, it's kind of hard to uh, put your gas elsewhere, so you end up making a lot of uh, Zealots for sure. But uh, Zest just has enough. I mean, he's got a fourth base coming up here. And uh, he's just making stalkers. I think he's gonna be totally fine. Honestly, Zest can just keep Hush inside of his base with these Phoenixes because there's not enough units on the ground for Hush to deal with these uh, this harassment here. As this stalker's just gonna walk into the fourth base, he's gonna scouting stalker. Himself. Yep, scouting stalker. <laughs> Don't need observers in this matchup. And uh, <laughs> oh man, like so many blank stalkers just being built here from Zest. And uh, we also got that robotics facility just completed for Zest. Definitely wants to get that one observer out just in case the Dark Shrine is there for Hush. Yeah, went behind Dark Shrine. Maybe he's like, oh, he could proxy it somewhere and, you know, somehow get back into the game. Uh, he does have some nice cannons set up at the fourth base, too. And he is some zealots here for Hush, but they're not going to be doing anything so far. I think oh, Zest man. is going I just, for the kill. <laughs> look at that unit count. It's 29 to 9 stalkers. He's gonna have to have the most money storms you have ever seen. It's like most money storms and the most jackpot Archon splash hits. Yeah. Well, let's see. Coming down here, there's so many stalkers with Blink, he's just gonna cancel his fourth. Zest is gonna begin poking here. Storm's coming down, but he just blinks out of it like. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't see the storm doing too much. Uh, uh, In I fact, I think maybe even Archons would be better. I, th I think the best engagement with Zest is just to split his Phoenixes, run into that army, and just lift all those high temper up. I think that should just uh, be just lift everything yeah, up. Yeah, lift man. everything up. Just lift literally everything. Is is a war prison to add to uh, insult to injury here from Zest? Oh, nice slap there from Hush. There's only just one stalker. I mean, look at the army count. Ridiculous. Yeah, meanwhile, Phoenixes fly back in, and they've got a lot of energy this time. Goodbye, Mineral Line. It really just comes down to how fast you can you can lift these these probes up. And he's just going to go for the attack. He can't deal with the Phoenixes at this point. Yeah, we've got the counterattack here from Hush. And honestly, this is probably the only thing he can do so far, but more Archon's being morphed here from Zest. He's got that uh, plus two nearly done here, and uh, this is like the anti time for Hush, because this plus is going to hit once he attacks him. He's got to get eaten up here. Yeah, look at the army right now. I'm not sure where the Phoenixes went, <laughs> obsessed. They're at the front right they're side. They're flying up here. 
Storm's coming down now. They do damage, but uh, they can always just blink out of them. Zest continuing to poke here. It, it doesn't matter what these stalkers do. Zest is maxed out, and he's got so many gateways. He's got so many stargates. They can just re-max so, so much easily. And he's just going to lift these high templates up. Oh, that's terrible. Uh oh, <laughs> goodbye, 600 gas. And coming in here, lifting all the probes now. And Hush is like, oh, I can't attack you, and I can't defend. What do I do? Oh man, Hush. This has been one of the most one-sided games in Pro League so far. Yeah, I think. Man. Yeah, it's definitely up there, like top five. Zest beginning to poke in at the fourth base again. Hush uh, is quickly losing whatever economy he 35 had. 35 probes. That's like unbelievable, man. Well, he's going to get on top of this army. Zest, no, he had blink up on every single one of those stalkers. And we got the Mothership Core with full energy. It's going to cost those pile of nerve charges if needed, but honestly, this stalker army is probably just enough to defend from this final attack here from Hush. He's, he's like, by the way, I still have four Archons waiting for you in case you want to attack. 25 probes is all Hush has. Yeah, look at the bank for Zest, too. I know. Coming in here, the lifts on everything in the back. And oh man, the concave for Zest. Blink and GG. That is the ending of the beatdown from Zest on the Hush. Zest is best, and that's why we saw how dominating Zest was in that game, I mean, oh man, Hush looked like a B teamer there. Well, Zest looks like an S teamer, man, that's what I have to say. That was just some, a really, really nice timing where he was like, I've got, I think, 10, 11 Phoenixes, and I'm gonna hit right before you get that clump of stalkers with the gateways that are coming online from the third base. And once he got that snowball rolling, and he constantly kept the stalker count low, there was just really not much that Hush could do. Yeah, uh, the main disadvantage to having so many uh, Phoenixes out on the map is that you have no ground units. I mean, we saw for a period of time on the uh, unit tab, you only had one Stalker on the map. Yeah. So, this, uh, Hush rather didn't really take advantage of the fact that there weren't any ground units, couldn't maybe sneak some units in to do some damage of his own, and uh, besides that, Hush got wrecked. Yeah, that's about right. Zest moves up to 7-2 and two in Pro League. He is still the most winning player out here. And uh, Hush, he wasn't looking too comfortable going into the booth. Well, coming out of it, it looks like he's almost relieved. <laughs> he's like, well, but I'm glad that's over, man. The reckoning is finally done for him. His initiation has concluded. So, see if he has some better luck next time. But uh, guys, we are going to jump into Bunny versus Stats for game number four.